Okay, welcome to Break My Gadget, and I'm going to show you how to jump start a car with this nifty little device called the GB20 Boost Sport, which I really recommend, really like. Um, and not only does it also charge your car, but it also has a USB out so you can use it to charge your phone as well. Okay, so let me show you how. So, the way that the GB20 works is it's basically a battery pack. Really, really small. Um, as you can see, you can put this into your glove box. Um, and the idea is that if you have a flat battery, especially when it's you know cold weather, um, or maybe you've got a battery that's on the way out before you buy a new one, buying one of these could be an absolute lifesaver. The link for these are at the bottom. Um, like I said, it's the GB20. So when it comes, you need to charge it by USB in. So if you look, it's got a USB in which takes roughly about six hours to fully charge. And it's also got a USB out, so if you want to use this to charge phones or um, iPads or any kind of tablet, then you can do. The way this works, however, and this is how to now, is the leads it comes with, you need to be careful not to touch the red onto the green. And the end here, okay, you open that end, and like I said, you've got to be very careful to keep these separate, all right? And you plug that in there like that, okay? And then what you do is you get the charger ready by connecting it to your battery. So this is the red, which is the positive, and what you'll find that on your battery, and it may have a cover on it, you may see that it has on the battery cover itself a, a red or a plus, or the lead itself is red. So what you do is you plug that onto and make sure it's fully connected onto that metal bit yeah try not to do any touch anything there and then you do the same with the black you put the black onto the connector make sure it's fully connected onto the metal and put it so, do that. so then you turn it on you turn the torch off that will go on here and all you do then get in the car turn the engine on you may need to leave it about 10 15 seconds just for enough juice to get into the battery start the car once you've started the car you can then disconnect it I would recommend probably turning this off and disconnecting them leave the car running for about two three minutes and what you'll have is a battery that's getting charged up so try not to use any air conditioning um, or any you know, um, try not to plug in any electrical devices into the car if you can, because you want the battery to try and charge up while you're driving. And that is it. Okay, really recommend it. I think it's great. The only other thing to say is if this light comes on, this white light, it means you've got a completely flat battery. That's fine, but it does mean that probably you're gonna have to buy a new battery. Okay, hope that's helped. Um, please do like, please subscribe. Ask me any questions on this. I found this to be an absolute lifesaver in the interim between having a bit of a flat, not flat battery, but a battery that's reluctant to start before I get a new one. And you know, the links to this are down at the bottom. All right, thanks for watching.